you have a couple of daughters. What kind of advice do you give them on how to get ahead? It's the same advice I give my son, which is, you know, you got to be intellectually curious, never stop learning, because the minute you leave college, you start to deteriorate. You got to read. You got to learn about stuff that's not necessarily entirely relevant. You got to read, you got to learn, and you got to do it. But it's and, no different from what you tell your son. And then, and then when you're in the office, I always say, remember, when your boss asks you to do something, there's a reason, typically. So make sure you get it. The more you do, what the company needs you to do, the closer you're going to be to important things, and that's how you make progress. But I, I don't, you know, I, I, you always worry about potential actions, you know, discriminatory actions, stuff like that. But, you know, I'm assuming that the companies they work for are uh, to only one works, the other one's still in college. So, um, you know, will be as good as our company. And if I hear anything different, you know, I'd let her know to do something different. But, um, but I think it's really, you know, you shouldn't, I don't think I make the distinction thinking about how they should approach their job. You got to learn. You got to be have just intellectual curiosity. You got to figure out what's important to the company, it, it, your employer, because it can be broader in companies. You got to go out and execute on that. You shouldn't turn down an assignment, not on a work-life balance question, but you shouldn't turn down an assignment that that's not interesting enough because nobody would ask you to do it if it wasn't a reason. And you know, those are the advice I give everybody. And you know, and and never worry about the 15th step down. What the one piece of advice I give is you started, if you start thinking about where you're going to be in 30 years and trying to do chess pieces, you're going to be disappointed 29 of the 30 years. So <laughs> let it come at you and make choices and set yourself up for more choices. Too many, a lot of kids want to say, come to me and say, geez, you made CEO, how can I go from here to there? And you're saying, with 30 years, you know, it's going to take some time and you're going to have to learn some different stuff. Or there's a lawyer that's leaving law, you know, I left law in 1993, it says, well, I left the law and I want to go be a business run a company. You're saying, well, I got lucky because somebody said come out of law and gave me a business job. You got to figure out how you get people to support you that way, you know, and so, but, you know, don't, don't, don't get so disappointed if something goes a little sideways. I, I lost my job once, you know, I, you know, things like, I mean, if you sit there and say, if I don't go this step, I'm going to be, you know, I, my career's over, you're just missing the point.